should have one's mindset as we speak. You know, a very serious mood out there in the locker room during open access time yesterday. This is a team coming off winning against uh, back-to-back games on the final play against AFC playoff contenders. And, you know, Jason Garrett was making the point that Tony Ruffle has been avoiding mistakes and he's been winning games. He's got the ball in his hands on every play. He's avoided the turnovers and doomed the Cowboys earlier in the season. 13 interceptions in the first seven games, just three in his last seven games. But the quarterback's approaching the final week of the season with a division title hanging in the balance. And these are situations where the Cowboys failed last year miserably. And in 2008, those remain black marks on Romo's career as a Cowboys quarterback. And, of course, in the next two weeks, he has a great opportunity. The Saints defense ranks last in the NFL, and then they play against the Redskins, who are 29th. But, of course, Sage, on the other side, he's got to outscore Drew Brees and RG3, who are going up against Cowboys defenses that are injury rabbits. They've lost five players for the rest of the season who are starters. So that's the challenge that Romo and the Cowboys face in trying to win out. So what you're saying is that there's no pressure whatsoever on Tony Romo or the Dallas Cowboys as all. Well. Uh, Easy, as, though. Yes, of course. Now, at 6 and 8, the same playoff chances as, as slim as can be. Yesterday, Drew Brees said he's confident that Sean Payton will return to the